What's up everybody? I'm back with another video game review. Now they seem kind of a just video game movie review channel recently, but uh, today I am reviewing Hyrule Warriors, a uh, Nintendo Switch game released in 2017 or 2018, I can't remember. The official year it came out will be uh, in the title of the video, so you can go and uh, see where when it actually when it actually came out. Um, uh, especially before I begin the review of this game, thank you to Dan Snake for gifting me this game. Uh, I got it for you know, he was selling all his games off. I got it for a good price. So uh, to expand, I got it to expand my library, but I find like last year or earlier this year, I should say. And I finally got around to trying it. So thank you, Dan Snake. Um, I found it as a as a worthy purchase. So thank you for that. Um, but yeah, I I got it for a good price, and I wasn't too heavy on wanting to play this game because I came in thinking it was going to be a lot like Breath of the Wild. You guys know my opinion on Breath of the Wild. It's not good. <laughs> I don't like Breath of the Wild. Um, I don't, and you know. I think it's a pretty crap game. I don't know exactly why it gets high such high praise. Uh, you, I got a whole video talking about that though. You can go check out uh, on the channel. So uh, just find that you can find that yourself on your own time. But uh, I came in thinking it was gonna be like Breath of the Wild, and I was genuinely happily surprised that it wasn't. Um, it's not the big open world. Uh, you have to figure everything out for yourself sort of thing. It's more of battling. More levels with more battles. And you unlock items and you go and get achievements and you go and do items and everything as you go your way through. It doesn't mean there's an actual... That doesn't mean there's not a story. There is a story. It did take me a little while to find out what the story was. Um, but eventually I was able to figure out what it was. Um, and it's a level, it's a, like, it's like a, what's it called, like, scenarios, I think it is, uh, or, or I call them, I guess I call them levels. There, it's in the adventure mode portion of the game, which I guess is kind of self explanatory No, it's not even in the adventure mode, it's in the legends mode, um, which is where you start out the game, so it should be kind of explanatory, but it's not. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't take too long, just look around, see where it is, find it, there you go. I mean, you can pretty much do whatever you need to after that, but... Um, and then you play through levels, and but all that really is is some cutscenes, and you're in a battlefield, and you battle a certain amount of enemies, and you do a few things, and then you escape that battlefield, and you keep going. And the the whole premise, like Breath of the Wild, is you're looking for Zelda. I think I think that I remember that's what Breath Breath of the Wild's all about. It's been a long time since I played it, but. Um, it's like this whole premise about the game is you gotta find Zelda. But the cool thing is you actually get to play as Zelda before you go look for Zelda. In the opening part of the game, you actually get to go look for Zelda. You actually play as Zelda. You get to learn her moves. You get to get a feel for her um, and that kind of thing, which you don't get to do in Breath of the Wild, which is pretty cool. Um, you also get to play as Link, obviously. His moveset's pretty good. Um... And you get to play this other girl, like Ippa. I don't know, Ippa, Ippa. I don't know. Her mouth set's not as good, uh, mainly because she has the, uh, she it takes a while for her to recharge her attack. And the cool thing is all the characters you get to play as have their own specials. So you charge up, like you kill an amount of a certain amount of just regular enemies. Uh, you get a charge up and you get to do a special move. Um, which is pretty, pretty cool. Kind of like Smash Bros. If you think about thinking like that, the Smash Meter. That's kind of what it's like. Um, and all those moves are pretty good. I find those all very effective, especially when you're finding the bigger bosses. Um, usually the only thing that will do any damage to the bosses is the special move. Which, in my opinion, is kind of dumb. Um, because I was doing regular hits to the bosses, like this, like, fire-breathing guy. They weren't, it wasn't doing anything, so... Uh, that was kind of annoying, but even, and then, but at some, at some point, though, you actually get to, like, it actually lets you do it normally. You just have to wait, and this sort of thing, which is something that they didn't really teach you about. That's okay. It's pretty easy to figure out eventually, but. Um, and then the, the levels are, you know, the, the enemies are pretty generic. Um, that's something that they didn't really work too hard on. Um, but the levels, as far as I've played, because I've played a good amount of them, 
they're all pretty, pretty same. They're, I mean, they're the same layouts, but they have different things that that uh, differentiate them from each other. I mean, it's not really that big a deal when it's not really more for the aesthetics. It's more for the combat, and the combat is what they got right. I can give them a little bit of credit on that part. It's a Zelda game, so it's going to look good. It doesn't look bad at all, um, so I can't really be too mad uh, about that. I do think Link in this game is a lot better than Link in Breath of the Wild. I think that was the main point. Um, I think that was one. I think I think that was on purpose. Seeming they have full potential, full power, instead of like being a little kid going through the, the woods or whatever. I think that's again. I'm not a huge Zelda enthusiast, so anybody out there who can rip on me for this, please do. I deserve everything that I get from ripping on Zelda. So rip on me in the comments. I'd love to hear it. But overall, um, you know, I was presently surprised. I didn't have high expectations coming into this game. Um, there's, I mean, you don't even have to do the story. You can do. Uh, regular other battles and certain scenarios you can play with any character. I'm already playing with Sheik too. I'm sure there's more uh, Normally with the game with the big story mode like this I would complete it then do a review of it But seeing that the story mode really isn't the main point of the game here It's more just about the combat and the battling and, and getting to use the characters and that kind of thing a lot But having a story there anyways I feel compelled and I think I have enough knowledge to do a review of it as somebody who's not a Zelda enthusiast, somebody who didn't like Breath of the Wild. I think I was very, very um, surprised and very, very happy with this game that I felt compelled to do a review of it. So I really liked it um, and I think it's a good addition to the lineup. I know there's been, the, I played the definitive edition, by the way, not the uh, Age of Calamity. So, if anybody's played the Age of Calamity version, love to know your thoughts about that one. Uh, maybe I'll go and uh, purchase it if I can get a good discount on it, or I just have enough money. I'll have to see. I haven't expanded my Switch library since I got this game, uh, so it's, it's been a while, guys. Um, but no, that's my review of Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Uh, I will have to probably give it a good... I'll have to give it an 8, 8 out of 10. Nah, I'll give it a 7. 7 out of 10. That's a good that's a good rating for it. Um, and that's going to do it for this video game review. Uh, if you Again, if you played this game, Definitive Edition, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Uh, do you like it more than Breath of the Wild? Do you not like it more Breath of the Wild? Have you played Age of Calamity? Is that one better than, than Definitive Edition? I'd love to know your thoughts on that one. And again, in the comment section down below, if I have any inaccuracies here, because again, I'm not a Zelda enthusiast, please, Zelda enthusiast, please comment down below. Let's hear your thoughts about it. So, uh, stay tuned, though, for much more amazing content coming to you. I got more game reviews ready. Almost ready. I got to get, I gotta play the games first, then I can do them. Um, and other amazing stuff. So, until next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.